What's up guys, it's Amaya from the Survival Cartel. I'm bringing you guys a quick Destiny video. I'm not even going to get gameplay. I know, right? It's a Destiny video, like especially since I've been pulling the hell out of Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, but anyways, I'm bringing you guys this uh, quick Destiny video, just sharing with you guys some news. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, Year 1 Exotics, well, some Year 1 Exotics are going to be coming over to Year 2. Before I start telling you guys which one of the Exotics are coming over to Year 2, I want to ask you guys a question. I would like it if you guys would uh, you know, answer in the comment section below. Do you guys think that these year one exotics coming over to year two are actually going to pull you back into destiny or will this, will the December patch and these year one exotics, you know, aren't really going to push you back from destiny. Now, my answer to that, honestly, um, the, the December patch and these year one exotics coming over to year two, that's not really going to push me back into destiny because honestly, I'm actually kind of tired of it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys, you know, feel the same way that I do. Let me know in the comment section below. Will you go back to play Destiny in December? Uh, yes or no? Hopefully, what I'm hoping for is that we get an expansion in December. That would be so amazing. Uh, I have a video, I have a separate video on, on, a, on a rumor of an expansion, but you know, I'll upload that later on in the day. But anyways, yeah, uh, let's talk about the year one exotics that are going to be coming over to year two. The first one that they announced is the Mirai Multi-Tool. Honestly, I'm really, really glad that the Mirai Multi-Tool is coming over. A really, really good scout rifle. I really, really enjoyed using it. And I'm glad I can have a year two version of it. Armamentarium, I'm also extremely glad that they are bringing the Armamentarium. Now, this is the thing. I didn't read the weekly update yesterday, so obviously I don't know if they are going to fix the glitch that all of us Titans know when you decrypt a freaking exotic chest piece you get a crest of apalupa seriously i've gotten like 15 of those by now that's one of the reasons why i'm pissed off at destiny because i've gotten 15 crest of apalupas and yeah if they don't fix that glitch then i'm not going to be able to get an armamentarium so please bungee please fix that glitch the next weapon that's going to be coming over to year two is the dragon's breath honestly whatever this, this this exotic never really got any love now they want uh you know people to love the dragon's breath the next one is plan c plan c of course a really really good fusion rifle exotic really great perk uh you know pretty much the best fusion rifle in the game i'm really glad they're bringing this over another thing that i'm glad they're bringing over is the nothing manacles exotic gauntlets for the warlock these things are amazing best exotic for the void walker in my opinion uh, i really enjoyed using it because i also really enjoyed using the uh scatter grenade from the warlock the next weapon is the super good advice um I don't really know how we're gonna get this. Do we get it from the bounty? Do we get it from an engram? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, super good advice is coming. The ATSA Tarantula, I thought that was a Taken King exotic, but maybe it was a House of Wolves exotic that I never got. Who knows, I barely play on my Hunter. The Peregrine Greaves are also coming back. Honestly, I think, you know, it's like a whatever. I never used the Peregrine Greaves, I never bought them. And the Apotheosis Veil is also a, um exotic that is coming back. Now, Apotheosis Veil, it does get a lot of hate. Honestly, I don't know why. I think it's a pretty useful exotic, especially with Nova Bomb, especially with uh, Radiance. But anyways, I'm actually glad the Apotheosis Veil is coming back. It's one of my favorite helmets in the game, and I actually really enjoy using it. So guys, let me know what exotics you guys are pumped for. If uh, Destiny the game comes out with more exotics that they're going to be you know, bringing into year two, I'm just going to update them in the description below. So within an hour, uh, check back into this video and you know, check in the description to see if there are any new exotics. If not, well, you know, the description is just going to be the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to join the Savaya Cartel. And make sure to answer my question, guys. Will these exotics and will the December patch uh, make you go back to Destiny? Or are you just going to keep on playing Fallout 4, Black Ops 3, Battlefront? Uh, I don't know. Um, Tomb Raider, if you're on Xbox. What's this other game? Just Cause 3. It's also coming out in December. It's a pretty great game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.